Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and you're never going to guess what we're going to do with this ordinary can. We're going to craft. So excited. We haven't done a craft together in a while. So I know I got a lot of canners on here following me, but uh, I do like to do my crafts from time to time. So uh, you need a can that is going to have the same bottom as the top. Trust me, I've went through a few of them. I had a green bean can. I had uh, something else. I opened that. I was so disappointed when I found out that the bottoms weren't the same because you want to be able to take this off with your can opener also. So, because otherwise it's not any fun. So anyway, so I cleaned out this can and um, yeah, we're going to make a craft with it. So let's do this. Oh, but before I do, hey, have you subscribed yet? Are you lying to me? I don't know. I want to believe you, but I'm just saying. It's real easy. Hit that little bell. Hit that little subscribe button. And hey, once in a while, give a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. You'll like it here. Okay. Hey, let's craft. Cheers. Okay, I want to show that I took this off. So now we get ta da! So make sure you got kind of the same ridges. They're more of a I don't even know what I had in this. What did I just have in this the other day? And I realized, I'm like, yes! Because I made goulash the one day. So I had canned tomatoes. Those didn't work. But I hear Hunt's canned tomatoes sometimes do. But the ones I had downstairs didn't look like they would. And then, what the heck was in this? Um, but yeah, so I was getting ready to like toss it. And I realized that the bottom was kind of the same as the top. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to give it a try. So excited. Anyway, you know, I get excited about my crafties. Okay, so we're going to make a wall pocket out of it. For my bathroom, off the kitchen here, I thought, well, you kind of smoosh it down and then you um, paint it, decoupage it, whatever, mod podge it, mod podge it, and add flowers and whatever. And that way I can change the flowers out whenever I want to. But I do have a napkin that I'm going to try and put on there. I can't find my bottle of Mod Podge. I have like two or three of them. I know there's one in my camper that I'm not at and I don't know but I do so many crafts with friends where we travel to people's houses you know and then things get left in bags and I can't find them. But I do have to spray Mod Podge so I'm going to try that. Hopefully that works. All right let's do this. Let's craft it up. Good lord I thought I was taping you guys. I am so sorry. Jeez I just went through all that. Anyway, so I picked the, this side as my top, and it literally, I wish it would have taped. It was priceless. This is not hard to do at all, you guys. I just went, put the seam side to the back, and smushed it down with my hand, and I'm not a big person. You know that. I'm not strong, mighty, and it just crushed right down because you can see it's pretty, it's a flexible can. So I'm just doing it with a little lip out. Man, I can't believe I wasn't taping. Um, now, I'm okay with it like this because it's just going to have fake flowers and it's going to hang on my wall. But if you want to do something like a bigger can and you want to do it outside, obviously, or um, or to do real flowers in it or something like that, you'd want to kind of seal this off a little bit and clamp it down with, I don't know, pliers or something like that. You know what I mean? Or a hammer or something. But I'm okay with it like that because it's just going to go on my wall with fake flowers in it. And I'm so excited that I found a can that's working. And I want to tell you that um, I hear, I think, Bush's baked beans. Um, those cans are good for this also. So keep that in mind if you have any of those. Just try any can. Uh, try using your can opener on the bottom. And I will tell you, my electric can opener opened the top of it, which this is the top at this point, and would not open the bottom, but my hand crank can opener opened the bottom just fine. And it's not sharp because of how it cut it open. So, yeah. So, okay, let's decorate. Okay, I'm trying to decide what colors I want to do, and I think I'm going to do, my bathroom has, and I'm not, I don't like the color black, um, I, I know, it's not a color, right, but anyway, I don't, but, um, I'm going to, I just like bright colors, but in my bathroom, I have a little bit of the bronze and the blacks and stuff like that, so, I hope we got enough white in here. We'll set this upside down like this. 
I'm gonna do um, paint it before I do any Mod Podge on it. I'm so excited this happened. I'm like really excited that I found a can. And you can do um, white on here. I was going to do the white. I thought oh, I'll do this because we're going to see. But this is the napkin I want to do on here. Isn't that cute? And I don't, well, obviously it's not all going to fit on there. But I'll pick one maybe to put on there. One of the nos like knobs. And I just want kind of like the distressed look, so I don't need it to be solid, but um, you could always do just a all white background and then this distress it a little bit. So I got a little gold out in case I wanted to do a little bit of gold on like the edges, because I'm a gold girl. I am, I am. And that way you can change out the flowers too. Like if I want it right now, I got like the, you know, the bronzes and the blacks in there, but I put up my spring decor and, you know, my bunnies and all that stuff. So, um, I could put something bright in here, but I wanted this neutral enough, you know, to do that. And then, you know, during Christmas, I could put some poinsettias or sparkly gold something or another in there and yeah be pretty I just want to just white in there okay I think we're good with oh can you even see sorry I get so into my projects you guys And this is just leftover paint that I had from, oh, like another painting project where we ordered a kit and they give you so much sometimes. Shh, so be quiet, we're, on, we're videoing. So that's what that's from. So, but it's pretty much just the acrylic paint. I'm getting the cream color down to the bottom there and then um, I can... Kind of highlight it a little bit with some of the golds and the whites, creams. Okay, I'm going to let this kind of dry. And we'll wait a few minutes and let that dry. So there it's kind of painted, but it's still kind of distressed a little bit. Let's see. Okay, in the meantime, while that's drying, I opened my napkin. Oh, I got lots of them on here. Um, oh, yeah, it's really cute. Okay. So you want to separate it because you're going to be Mod podge this, right? Oh, I could keep this on there. Would that be cute? The pokey dots? Well, I want to do a square. Because it's not a very big can, obviously. I don't know. Got no wing in it, you guys. You know how I like to wing things. Where did I get these from? These were on clearance like a long time ago, but I always have like a little basket in my bathroom with paper napkins along with towels. So I change them out. So right now I'm putting the spring flowers in, but this is like a nice generic that can stay whenever I need it in there. Okay. Now I'm trying to decide. Oh no, it's too big. So I got to cut the polka dots off. Damn it. I love polka dots. Okay, let's even this up just a little bit here. Mom. Oh, he's getting grumpy. I'm going to shorten it just a little bit because I want to be able to distress like around it a little bit. So, Oh, 
yet. Okay, so that's what's going to go on there like that. Okay, and I want to point out, I, I'm glad I picked this one because also it's a C. I know it's C for cold water, right? <clears throat> but C for Conley. So serves two purposes in our bathroom. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, so I'm trying to decide. I was going to put holes on each side of here with the nail, but there is no way. I cannot do that. I can't get my hand in there, the hammer in there at the same time and everything else. But I just did them. Can you see the little holes right here? Just two? Because it's hanging on the wall anyway, right? This is the flat side with the seam. And it's distressed looking like I want it. You could put a second coat on if you don't want distressed. If you want all white. You can use tissue paper also besides napkins. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You don't have to mod podge. You could just paint it. And uh, do maybe some different stripes in here if you wanted to. Or some white in here a little bit to distress it. Um, anyway, so now I got two holes. And after I get this all decorated, I'm going to... I have... Um, what do you call it? The floral wire stuff I'm going to use as that just to hang on the wall because obviously it's, it's not going to hold. It's not going to be heavy on the wall. You know what I mean? So anyway, so that's that for right now. So now I went and got a towel because I'm inside and I should probably be doing this outside since I don't have the brush on Mod Podge, but screw it. We're going to see how this goes. And we're going to spray <laughs> lightly. i got to center this up so you, you hold on. Okay. So I am going to... So if you had the brush on, you would do some of the brush on first. Kind of even. I'm going to kind of distress the sides with more black paint and stuff, so I'm not really worried if it's not totally cutesy, cool looking, or whatever. Okay, so got it on there a little bit, but I need to spray some more. that dry okay well that's drying a little bit I'm gonna take this little bit of gold that I have and do this lightly I don't want it perfect Just to give it a little more distress, but a little bit of dimension and um, color, not so black. I don't know if I need the cream in there, but I might add it for just a little bit of extra something if it's actually going to pour out here. We'll see. Oh, I just need a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. How just a little bit of something else can just give it just the right amount of what you need. Is it like a different look, a little extra? Go right over that. See, it kind of blends in the sides. Oh my God, that's cute. I love crafting. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so cute.
Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. With just a used can. And I was using it anyway to cook dinner. I like that the, I'm glad I did it, the black in the background, and I can lighten it up with that. That is so cute. Okay, sometimes less is more. We're done. We are done. We're going to let it dry, and then we get to decorate it. Okay, you guys, so I went and got some of this floral wire, because, I mean, obviously, if you have bigger holes than, or a bigger can you're going to use, or whatever, you know, I will probably do more of these, but... I wanted to see how this was going to go. So I'm just putting the floral wire and kind of making little knots behind it. Because, you know, like I said, it's not holding heavy items. It's just going on the wall. So I just kind of smushed it, if you can see, like that. Maybe I should make it shorter. No, I think that's good. Just gonna hang on the wall and it'll sit there just like that. Oh my god, I'm so excited! So excited. Although I went upstairs to look through all my flowers and I didn't have, you know, I'm a Christmas girl, so most of my flowers are Christmas. I covered that up. Um, but did find a few, and I found one that already had a little bit of sponge in the bottom. You don't have to do a sponge, but it's already there, so I'm just going to work with it and kind of, I think this is still a little tacky, so we're going to let it dry just a little bit here, and then we'll start decorating. never gonna look at cans the same way again like I seriously want to find more and so I got the spring flowers in it so I can take those out if I want to change them out for like Christmas or whatever um don't mind the garland in here my friend made this for me 
and it's got snowflakes on it but it's kind of you know <laughs> it's got the dark and the burlap and the glittery because I love glitter I don't think really people know this is snowflake so I'm leaving it up I'm just gonna leave it up I'm happy with it I don't care it makes me happy and my husband loves it too so <laughs> until the strand dies it's gonna stay in here um, but I did get um, this a couple of these type of Eastery spring towels because it has the dark to kind of blend that in so it kind of stays in my bathroom and looks okay and then but it's got the bright colors you know um so that's why I want some little bright color up here but still keep the dark in because it goes with our our mirror here and stuff like that so yeah I'm so excited I hope you try this that was that didn't take any time at all so and obviously you don't have to do the Mod Podge on it you don't have to do fabric you could do fabric on it you but you don't have to you could just do a tin um like there's taller cans you know what I mean I don't know about the big 10 the number 10 cans or whatever those are called like at Gordon's and stuff like that I don't know you'll have to look at those to see if the bottom's easy to open up um you could always if you're really handy get the tin snippers or the clippers or something and cut the bottom off but I'm not gonna do that if it doesn't open with a can opener I'm not gonna try it I don't want to hurt myself so yeah I'm pretty happy with that isn't that pretty I love it and that was really everything using what I have I didn't buy anything I'm pretty sure now that I think about it, I think it was broth that I opened a can of broth and I already have I've had these napkins for years um and you see how many was on that napkin I could do several of these if I wanted to I had the paint and these were all flowers I already had upstairs so everything I already had I just used what I had and made something pretty and new for spring in my bathroom and I'm so excited so hopefully you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button for more crafty funness we'll see what we got coming up and I think that's it um yeah subscribe thumbs up leave a comment below um if you've tried one of these let me know uh yeah I think that's it I love it okay cheers <laughs>